It's like four or five things that you got to know how to do if you're gonna survive or just be a cool person here. You gotta know how to fight, you gotta know how to dress, you know what I'm saying, you gotta know how to dance. If you know how to skate, you yeah. winning, you know that, you winning. <laughs> Being a private chef has me cooking for clients all over the place. But when I'm working, I'm super busy, so I don't get a chance to see the cities the way that I want to. Now, Thrillist is sending me around the country to meet up with the real ones, who know their city as well as I know mine. I'm Ashley Jonique, and this is Gatekeepers. What's poppin', y'all? I'm out here in Atlanta. It's my first day. I was here some years ago. I was always working, so I didn't really get to see the city. Hopefully, the gatekeepers that I meet will show me the real Atlanta. Now let's hit these streets. Thanks to our friends at Acura. The first person I'm meeting up with is Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> yes, that is real name. He's Thrillist's go-to expert in Atlanta. Hey. It's me. Nice How to are you? Nice to meet you. Wonderful to meet you, Ashley. It's just a much more family-oriented place we're about to be at, Cascade Skating Ring. Well, it's very iconic. It's here on the southwest side of Atlanta, also called Swats, from like Goody Mobs albums, Outkast, Southwest Atlanta, Too Strong. Okay. So you come to Cascade, it's like really a piece of like living history. You have probably seen I the movie ATL. ATL right? Everybody <laughs> saw T.I., yeah. Lauren London. Well, I got somebody I want you to meet, so let's go in here and meet All my right. friend. Well, can I take a quick selfie in front? Don't this, you love the sun? This right? is perfect selfie, yeah. like. Tiff. Hey. 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 Awesome. Nice to meet you. Man, it's about to go down. Hopefully, I don't go down. I mean, you might. This is a vibe. This is this is what we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Feel yourself though. Just roll with it. Are y'all ready? Yeah, let's do it. It is time for drinks. It's it definitely time, time for drinks. drinks. Might be, might be almost past oh time goodness. for drinks. It's time for that drinks. <laughs> we get these drinks. We can go craft bars. We can go hotel rooftops. Or we can go to like the east side. East Atlanta's got a vibe. I know the perfect place. You hungry? I'm always hungry. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's drink. Let's drink. Let's drink. Ashley and Tiffany. If you're gonna be in Atlanta, these are two people who I feel very comfortable. It's my man Julian Virgin, multimedia reporter. My man Maurice Garland. Well, nice to meet y'all. Nice to meet y'all. Well, I like this vibe a lot. Welcome, baby. Welcome to Atlanta. One thing that we just want to get it straight, and I'm sure you can say the same. Right. Do not call Atlanta a ATL or Highland. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No. Well, I don't Atlanta say Atlanta. ATL, the ATL or Highland. That's how we know you're not from here. Nobody says that anymore. That sh got co opted a long time ago. How important is the bar culture here, opposed to like other areas in Atlanta? It's not about some fancy buildings or big parking lots. And as you see when we walk down here, it's all different kinds of people. It's every culture, every kind of music. And you can just tell by the clientele that it's somewhere where people are just coming not to not to show out, but just to, to show up and have a good time. You come over here when you're ready to buy a house. And you know what I'm saying? Like, can you can be responsible with a credit card. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. That's a good point to put it. I don't want to go to the places that everybody talk about. You know, a lot of times people they go out of town and they go to the same places that they go to when they're in their hometown. And that's just kind of backwards to me. I wanted to see like the real authentic Atlanta from y'all's point of view, like the people who are really out here chilling and living. 
After taking the cab home, I woke up feeling it from the night before. I'm starting off day two in Atlanta with MJ at one of his favorite spots. Hey. You survived. Yes, you made I did. It. <laughs> Good nice to, to see, see you again. again. Yeah. So you brought me to a diner? Not just a diner. Pond City Market right across the street. That's what you call New Atlanta. Even though it's an old building, that's New Atlanta. Okay. Where we're about to go eat, this is old Atlanta. Okay. And we need to get in here not just to get you over the hump, but just so you can see the difference. Well, you took care of me yesterday, so I don't see a reason not to trust you. Southern hospitality. I'm going to take right, care of you every time. Let's get it. Let's do it. <laughs> So the amount of food that you get for the prices that I've seen was unbelievable. Yeah, and that's the point. I've not usually seen people eat food at Eats and finish the whole plate. So you get a carry-out box, you take that home, you got another meal for the day or right. for tomorrow, and you're going to be all right. I cannot wait to get my hands on this food. It smells incredible in here, and I'm definitely hungry. <laughs> Yes, Mac me. This looks so good. I'm obsessed with collard greens, so I try them everywhere I go. Oh my God. No judgments. All right, I have to dig into these greens before you even sit down. I just don't want to have too much sugar in my mouth. All right, let me see. I'm satisfied, but I got to dig into all of this. But the greens, the greens. Pass the test. They pass the test. A lot of people I know, including myself, were kept alive because of how delicious this food was, especially for the price. Mm. Are you laughing at me? Uh, I, I was just wondering what was up. <laughs> so if I like something, I do a shimmy. See, real Atlanta people will love you for saying that. I'm only a few bites in, but each you did me good. I'm impressed. Thank you for taking me here, Mike. What else do you have planned? We're gonna head from here uh, over at the Trap Music Museum. Hey, yeah. Trap, 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 Trap. Made it. I made it. I had to come through, man. I've never been here before, man. Welcome to Trap Music Museum. Our purpose of this museum is just to show the story of the lifestyle of these artists and what they went through, what they overcame to be successful. Okay, look, I'm gonna tell y'all. Before you go into the trap, I gotta give y'all some rules, okay? Okay. Look, when y'all come in here, don't break none, don't stand on none, don't try and take none, okay? We don't steal up in here, okay? We trappy, but we classy, all right? <laughs> Welcome to the Trap Music Museum. Gucci out of kitchen. This is what it would look like. This is my trap. I'm a chef. And I used to listen to trap music to kind of keep me in the mood. I was going through a rough time. I used to sell plates out of my cars. So I wanted to listen to like up-tempo music, you know, to keep me going. And yeah, trap was definitely it. So I'm loving all of this. So this is the fridge, right? What flavor Kool-Aid is that? Great. Great. Okay, Great. come closer. Come we on. can't see that. Yes. 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 Oh, I'm the gatekeeper here, everybody. <laughs> 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 Clearly red Kool-Aid. The only Kool-Aid that's acceptable in the trap red. is red. Okay, we have to stop here. As you guys know, I'm a celebrity chef. I fed Nipsey. He was like my absolute favorite person. He got out of the car to greet me. He told me about himself. What up? Night blood and that bustle when I let that girl cook. Yeah. When he passed, I really took it personally. Like, I cried for days. But to see somebody who was so smart and so humble and kind of at the time misunderstood, to meet him in person and to like hug him or for him to hug me and like feel that energy was like amazing. This is so, so, so cold. Like, I love this. Let's cut to the next one. Unique things about our experience here is that we have an escape room. Y'all go ahead, head on in. So 45 minutes, you think your way out of the secret passageway, and then you have freedom. And the third option is you can go to prison for the rest of your life. Y'all think these cars are awesome? Pay attention to this. That's what it was. So the AC not coming right now. Bye, now remember that, I. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on, Take them down. We got to get out of here, man. Oh. We lit. Oh. We out there, man. Oh. 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 Come on. about time, bro. <laughs> we just did an escape room at the Trap Museum. I'm still like at a loss for words. I thought I was just coming in here to learn about trap music. All I can say is if you're ever in Atlanta, 
You have to come. After all of the things that we've been through, I feel like we're really a crew now. MJ wants to take me to Pond City Market. He's promising me some cinematic views, and I can dig that. Welcome to the roof at Pond City Market. Mike. Yeah. <laughs> After a whole escape room at the Trap Museum, you bring me to this gorgeous view that's like an amusement park. This is so fire. Like, I love this. This is making me feel like a big kid. Yeah, like I got the like this. Oh, come on now. Come. Woo! This skyline is amazing, y'all. My trip is almost over here. I'm experiencing so many things that I didn't get to experience when I actually lived in Atlanta. My gatekeepers are showing out. They're taking really, really good care of me. I'm excited to see what they have next. All right, one more cheers, y'all. Hey, cheers. cheers to Atlanta. To Ashlanta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, so our last stop mm -hmm. is Parlor. It's supposed to be one of the best cocktail bars in the city. I think it'll be a good end to the evening and to the trip. You should enjoy it. Thank you. How you doing? Come on, y'all look nice. Thank you. <laughs> I see you already got a drink, Bruce. Uh, absinthe in there. Yeah, you know, like it's it's pretty hey, solid, hey, man. Hey, 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 we had a couple of like uh, dirty sprites and stuff like that. Dirty a lot sprites, of stuff going yeah. On. yeah. <laughs> you drinking dirty sprites? Yeah, not the, not the, not the, not the original <laughs> recipe. Let's walk through it. I mean, these guys do an incredible job. It's first things first, if the name looks good, it's probably good. Just close your eyes and point at one. You can't go yeah. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, I seen one that I like. Mmm. <laughs> Since I'm a little dressed up, oh I'll try the, the gentlewoman. I was gonna guess it, yes. <laughs> Give me that. The gentlewoman. Just from your perspective, being actually like someone who gets all down and dirty with the spirits, what about this place and their drinks? Like, what is it that you experience here? Well, as you see, like, look around, the aesthetics, the vibe. We're, we're on the beautiful brick of the legendary Casper Art District. I love this. This is beautiful. It's a place of comfort. There's no fear in flavor. You can be yourselves in the glass. So say you drink for a living, I'm surprised that uh, you remember so much. You are very knowledgeable. Yeah. For real, like, I love to hear you speak. But it's like, how the hell does she remember all of this if she drinks for a living? It's That's a passion. A... It's like, you can I tell. drink for a living, but... Uh... It's, it's easy to remember when you're like, you know, there's so much to learn. And plus, like, you're not just drinking to be drinking. Like, right. you're enjoying what you are doing. We have to go through a process. Like, oh, yeah. fermentation and distillation. Oh, I love that sound. <laughs> It's a pause every time. <laughs> So I want to do a cheers for y'all showing me a good time. Toast to y'all. Cheers to you. Cheers, cheers. cheers Welcome folks. to Atlanta again. Hey, I miss the toast. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Trying to be nice to see you again. Out here. These drinks look great. I do need some help. Well, it's about a crave. Like, what are you feeling? I'm feeling old fashioned like right now. We know we got the blazers on with a nice setting. I want my drink to match my vibe right now. That's what I want. Let me get one of those. I'll take one of those. Ashley, what did you learn being here in Atlanta? I know you about to leave, but like, what was the biggest takeaway? One thing that I did learn about Atlanta is much more than just strip clubs. The history behind all the places that I went, I mean, I wouldn't have had known unless you guys showed me around because most likely I would have went to the places that I heard in like the rap songs and stuff like that. It made me feel like I was at home. I hope that you take that away from Atlanta too, is that, oh, you know, definitely. this is a place to where people of color can thrive, not only just survive, but thrive and really make a name yeah. for themselves and carve out their own legacy. Well, I just want to say thank you all 
for showing me around. We are definitely family now. So whenever you come to New Orleans, I would love for us together so I can cook for you. We are All right, so can we cheers to that? Yeah, let's cheers to that. So many toasts. Cheers to that. Atlanta, I had a great time from beginning to end. I had a lot of great food. I had some good drinks. I made it out of the bando alive. So I need to catch a cab and crash. I'm definitely tired. I need to figure out where the hell am I going next. You gotta stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you for watching this episode of Gatekeepers. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And while you're here, you might as well watch what I did in Charleston. Adios.